Hi, welcome to Season Your Words and Food with Grace. I'm here because I wanted a Garo. So I did my Garo. Garo, Giro, whatever way you call it, it's Garo to me. And I made some homemade fries. I got my little peppers. I always grill my onions. Even when I'm getting a gyro from the store, I ask them, please grill my onions. And yes, so. Anyway, Lord bless it in Jesus' name. So, I don't have no frozen fries. I had some little potatoes. And I chopped them up to make me some fresh french fries. So, this is what I have. So, bless it, Lord. So, I did my pita bread, my cucumber sauce. I got my tomato, little lettuce. I have peppers already chopped up in it, plus I have my whole one, so. Oh, God, I love them peppers. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. And one thing about when you do your own, you can put as much meat on it as you want. Mm. Even though I have some chopped up already in it when I was cooking it. So, how is everyone today? You know, it's getting so, you don't be knowing what to eat, what to cook. So, I'm not into big meals, you know. So I'll be trying to get something that I could just cook and get it over with. It's so good. I close that one up so I can stay hot. So, you know, I'm originally from Illinois and in Kankakee, we have this place that makes gyro. Poor boys. I always ask for my onions to be grilled. It just, if you like gyro, it's just so good with them grilled onions and the pepper. Mmm. I wanted to show y'all how I make it, how I cook it. But this sister was so hungry. I'm like, I, I just got to eat. I got to hurry up and cook it in so I can eat it. <laughs> So, 
<laughs> Thank you. It is. It's, it's fire. So I want to talk a little bit about bullying. It had came to my phone on how these kids, I guess from the same school, they invited this guy, this little boy, over to a sleepover. But their intentions wasn't good. They bullied him and they made him drink urine. They shot him with a BB gun. They was hitting him. It was a racist act, but it had started from just bullying him. And so, yes, but it's not seafood. This is a gyro that I made. Mugbang is it consists of food, you know. You'll put seafood or regular food, whichever kind. So, yes. And so, um, So when I picked up my granddaughter today, I always ask her about how her day went, anybody mess with her or anything. And she started telling me about this teacher had a, a box over this here boy so nobody could see him and that... Um, Say it again. Kids was making fun of his teeth. Yeah, kids was making fun of his teeth. That's my granddaughter over there. And that they was, you know, bullying him. So right away, I'm in the car, right? I'm about to do a U-turn. I'm about to go back to the school. No, that's not my child. But honey, I was green. Go off. I went from 1 to 10 in a matter of a second. But she said it was a movie. <laughs> Teaching them about bullying, you know. So I said, oh, okay. So, and you know, I just want to put it out there, you know. Make sure your child is not bullying no one. Like I always tell my grandchildren. When you see a kid by themselves, nobody want to be around them. You be the one that go and be their friend. I don't care what the mother wants to say. And never, never go and do things to get friends like they made that little boy drink urine. Never, never, no. A real friend wouldn't even do that. So if someone trying to say, well, I'll be your friend if you do that, you know, they're not. So please teach it to your children. Kids have committed suicide from being bullied. And then some have went on a rampage and got hold to their family uh, weapons and stuff and went on a, a little crazy killing spree, you know, because they couldn't take it anymore. I'm not saying it's right what they did, but teach your kids about bullying. It's not right. It's not right. This guy roll y'all got me full. I can eat the rest. Okay, I say you have. 
she had already eaten. So that's why she's not eating with me. She ain't got so. She always seems like she's starving. She get out of school, she's starving. She wake up, she's starving. She go to bed, starving. And all in between that, she be done eight. So. Mm. Mm -mm. It's fine, though. It's fine. Um, yes, yeah, so like I said, I got tomatoes, got peppers up in here. I cooked it with the peppers, um, grilled onions, my red onions. I love red onions. They are, they so good and so strong. I love red onions. I love them raw. I love them grilled. I love them cooked in food. <laughs> I love me green, I mean, red onions. Y'all see that? I should have gave y'all a piece before I bit off of it. I'm sorry. And, of course, my cucumber sauce. H2O. Y'all really don't hardly see me drinking pop or anything. I would do that Welch's sparkling juice. But mostly all the man's I'm drinking water. Sister girl, fool. I can't do it. I, I can't do all that food. <laughs> mm, they the bomb. Oh. So. Ooh, it's so beautiful today. It's been beautiful here for, well, for a while now. Head on my air again today in the car, not in the house. Now, that's something as hot as Georgia get. I barely, <clears throat> I barely cut on my house air, barely. I can't stand all that coldness. But sitting in the car waiting till my granddaughter get out of school, it was so hot up in there, man. I was ready to bust out that car. I just cut the air on. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's been hot. So. Oh, yes. I did many with seafood. You have to go to my YouTube channel. Or either on this page, but I, I really wish you'd go to my YouTube and subscribe. It's the same title as this, Season Your Words and Food with Grace. But yes, now I'm very much into the um, blue crabs and crawfish. I will eat um, crab legs, but my favorite is the blue crabs and crawfish. Yes, but I have a lot of, yeah, that's why I started with it. I got a lot of them. Yes. So, I just had me a big thing of blue crab yesterday, <laughs> but I didn't get a chance to go live. My granddaughter said, you're not going live? <laughs> I ain't going to go live. Sometimes, you know, when you hungry, 
You don't got time to be sitting up cameras and all that stuff. <laughs> I'll be like, I'm going in, baby. I got, I got to eat. So. <laughs> but I will be doing a seafood boil this weekend. Lord, say the same. This weekend. So, anyway, thank y'all so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. I appreciate the view, the like, the comment, the share, whatever you do. Please don't forget to go to my YouTube channel and subscribe to Season Your Words and Food with Grace. I appreciate everything that y'all do. Thank you so much. Remember, have nothing in your heart but love, 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 and always forgive. Don't harbor no unforgiveness. Don't harbor no bitterness. Forgive. When Jesus was on the cross, he said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Now, they just spit on him. They beat him. They put thorns in his head and speared him in his side, nails in his hand and his feet. I mean, they, they lied on him. But he had so much love and so much forgiveness in his heart, he didn't have no room for hate. He didn't have no room for unforgiveness. And the Bible also said, when thou standest praying, what do you do? Forgive. And always season your words. I don't care how right you are and wrong they are. It's the way you speak to anyone. So make sure your words are seasoned. Even when it comes to children, your grandchildren, your children's, anyone, your neighbor, your enemy, season your words. Let it be seasoned with grace. And above all, I don't care how tough that steak is. They could be, oh, this steak is tough. But one thing I could say, that baby is seasoned good. <laughs> so remember, season your words and your food with grace. Until next time, thank y'all so much for stopping by. I appreciate everything. Love you and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.